Hey guys, thanks for joining me on this video about taurine. I'm just going to summarise my research on taurine for you guys here. Uh, I don't profess to be a taurine expert, I've just done a lot of research on it. Now there are no EU recognised label claims about taurine, but there is quite a lot of strong evidence and if you check out sites like examine.com you can look at all the cutting edge research into taurine there and I'm going to summarise it here for you. So basically what scientists are showing is that taurine has a protective effect in cells. It's like an antioxidant effect and that can kick in during extended bouts of exercise and aid in recovery from exercise. It can also aid in blood flow in conditions such as diabetes, interestingly, and deficiencies are associated with heart kidney, developmental and retinal issues. So low levels can have some negative effects on the body. Now why is this of importance to vegans in particular? Well some studies suggest vegans have significantly reduced amounts. I'm just going to pull up an article. Um, basically they were saying prolonged absence of dietary taurine intake causes decreased plasma urine and severely restricted urinary taurine output. So the body's better at stopping the release of taurine if we don't eat it, but it does have a decreased amount in our plasma. We do get a decreased amount in our plasma if we don't take in taurine through animal products. They were testing it in vegans against omnivores and the vegans have significantly reduced amounts. Now why could that be an issue? Well as we were saying basically taurine is involved in helping cells recover and stop breaking down under stress. And that's why they have it in energy drinks but let's let's draw a line and say this what we've got in vegan power is not the same as energy drinks um, because Energy drinks tend to have a very, very large amount. And we're talking about bringing people up to, vegan vegans up to the levels of omnivores. So in our supplement, we've included 50 milligrams, um, which is kind of what uh, an omnivore would eat on maybe towards the lower end. But there, there, there are studies showing over supplementation can have some negative effects. And some people have had some pretty serious effects from drinking too much energy drinks. So we're not saying you have to have tons of taurine. We're not saying, you know, taurine is, you know, the more the merrier. Just boost your levels to that of which omnivores have to help you protect yourself from the deficiencies, basically. The deficiencies are the organ issues, heart, kidney, retinal, developmental issues. And the benefits are better performance in extended bouts of exercise and recovery from exercise, potentially. So that's what the research is saying, guys. Uh, we've got links to all the um, the studies that I've been talking about on our page on Vegan Power. Do, vegan pa Do vegans need taurine? So if you want to look in deeper, you can check that out. And you can also check out examine.com. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for caring about your health. And um, yeah. Keep it up. Thanks for staying vegan. Lots of love. See you in the next video. We're making a whole series of these videos about the different nutrients, carny nutrients, things involved in a vegan diet that can help you stay vegan and not quit once you are well on the path. Lots of love, guys. See you in the next one.